Hey, get some sticks. Here we are, man. We got a box full of fresh balls. We're going to get our sticks out there and then we're going to have some fun. We're at Bridgeport in Connecticut with my man here from Bridgeport Lacrosse. John runs the program and we're having a great day. We got new goals that we're going to leave the program, do a little bit of shooting, a little bit of passing, a little bit of catching, and just really enjoy the day before the games tonight. Yes, sir. History of our program, a state championship with St. Joe's. These U13s want to. So see, cool, man. You know, just That's a little so great. Bit. Jamaica Lacrosse, Uganda Lacrosse, all Amazing. of that good stuff. So honored to have you here. Two great fields here for lacrosse. Yeah. We work hard to get these fields put in and Amazing. to be able to host Our players of, as your caliber, legends, yeah. right. love and blessings, Much brother. Love. All right, bring it on in, guys. Bring it on in. Coming to you. Oh, oh. hey. Oh. You know, it's like anything. You just got to start at some point. It is hard, though, but that's what makes the game tough because it's so skilled. All right, guys. First years at playing lacrosse out here. Man over there. No better chance to learn than today from, from the best in the world, Paul Rabel. Our goal is to go state to state and drop goals to deserving programs like you all. Fired up to be here. Sounds like some of you all have played lacrosse for a while and love it. And some of you guys play it for the first time. Here's the thing, man. Lacrosse is, uh, is a special sport to a lot of us. It's the first sport in North America. It was created by indigenous people. The game is tough as hell, right? A lot of people either don't know about it or don't have access to it because like hockey and golf it's an expensive sport to play and like sports i think in america or sports globally they're supposed to be for everyone it's supposed to be equalizer no matter what gender you are no matter what color you are no matter what economic background you come from the amazing thing that i always found in sports when i grew up is you just go settle it on the field you can play you can compete to win and that's why we launched our our program here goals for greatness it'd be like playing hoops and not having a basketball court and we all have basketball courts in our neighborhood my initial goal was to say hey if we don't have hoops in every neighborhood let's go get them there all right so we're dropping goals all over the country and we leave them here with you what's up man well gloves because the game gets really vicious if rj has a stick all right and i'm defending him I can like literally swing at him, you know, and I can push him and I can check. Sometimes I miss and I hit his hand. So if he wasn't having gloves, he cut his hand open. That's why I don't play. It hurts. I'm, I'm a baby. Why is lacrosse most like basketball? Because it's about penetrating past your defender, creating offense. All right. So I was a two guard. I shot, but I always used to, I used to always uh, carry the ball around me because I wanted to be a point guard. And so if you notice the best ball players, whether they're forwards or slashing guards, they get past their defender, they create offense, either a shot or they dish. I think the same thing in lacrosse. And then other comparisons are football in a lot of ways. I think skill positions, cornerbacks are like our defensive players. They're the same tactics, line up, they backpedal, they open their hips, they swing, they lock up, they drive the sidelines. Oh, come borrow your stick. Okay, cool. Oh, let's come here. Balls. If you can play lefty and righty in lacrosse, now all of a sudden you have a bunch of different directions where you can take your defender. And that's basically a little bit of trickery. So if someone's covering me here, my man's open there, I hit him that way. Or if I don't have much of an angle, I can fake it that way, come and pass it that way. I don't trust you with that, Yeah, there you go. There you go. You don't want to snap at it. How's it coming? Nice pass. Nice, pass. nice, pass. nice catch. How you guys doing? Good. Good throw. You having fun? Yes. You got throwing down. This is your first time? Yeah. Well, what's the fastest you have ever shot a ball? 114. 114 miles an hour. That's crazy. All right, I'm in an athletic position so I can catch it and be ready to release. As I work my way into it, because I'm an old head, I'm going to warm up and take a few slower shots. Bring it high. Close. This is a this is a lifetime, guys. I've been wanting to feed Paul Rabel forever. You all right? You said top left. I shoot 200 shots a day. I went across you. I shoot 100. Appreciate it. Good stick. Thank you. Good shooting. Thanks. I've been wanting to do that. Feed the great Paul Rabel forever. <laughs> there you go. You did great. You was having the time of your life. So more power, and what that'll probably get you to do is miss the net. My bottom hand, so I'm here, and I'm launching all the way through like that. Hey, great job out there. So enjoyed. What a blast. Oh, we got giveaway. Uh, See how his shooting strings match his toes. Sick. Come all the way up. Fresh white tee. 
You toe the head, that's my man right there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna give away one of these fresh Cash App handles, and item number two is a Cash App Yay! helmet. Woo! Then you can get physical, my friends. Question number one, what speed did Paul Rabel, you! 114. Boom! 114! I was clapping up for it. Congrats, Ty. Question number two, where can you watch the PLL. Oh, me, me, me. I think I ESPN saw too. this hand go up first. Oh. Uh, ESPN. Booyah! Oh, Let's go! Yeah. Nice Bye. work, bro. Don. Yes. Break it down. yes. That's for you. Thank you. Oh, Family on three. One, two, three. Family! Family.